This video is to help us uh, better understand how to identify input and output quantities, the function relationship, and then also using function notation. So the first thing, we're going to look at question 5 and 6, and um, we want to look to see, to identify uh, where the input and the output are. And if you recall, if we look at the words, is a function of, is a key there with respect to, and then also in terms of are all key phrases. And anytime we're looking, working with that, we know that whatever follows is always our input. And whatever's prior to that is our output quantity. So if we're looking at number five here, we know that the input quantity is going to be the hours and the output quantity is going to be the amount of our paycheck. And now we want to write this using correct um, verbiage. So we want to start with a letter, a reasonable letter. So maybe H equals the number of hours. And the output is going to be the amount of paycheck. So maybe we want to call it P equals amount of pay in dollars, making sure we identify our unit of measurement as well. And when we write it as this order pair, we always know the first thing is our input and the second thing is our output. We want to decide if this is a, um, a relation. And so um, one thing we want to make sure that we do is figure out if the input for every input, so for every number of hours, do we have a corresponding output? So do we only have one paycheck answer? So do we only have one amount that's going to happen for every hour? And the answer is yes. For each hour, there is one specified amount of pay. And then, so since it is a function, we can write it using function notation. And we note here that the function name is going to be K. And from the notes um, directly on Canvas, on the page in Canvas, we know that we are going to um, start with our output variable, which is P. So P equals, now our function name And then our input variable, because our input goes inside the parentheses, because it's the input variable, k of h. And remember, this is not multiplication. It's just a function notation. And this is read of. So k of h is how this is read. Or the output p is equal to k of h. OK. So now if we look at the next one, the next one is, again, the input comes after the, the words with respect to, so our input is the letter grade, our output is the numerical grade, and so we're going to write this in terms of the order pair to which it is, so pick a reasonable letter, we go with L equals the letter grade. And then our input variable or I'm sorry, our output variable is the number grade, so maybe we just use an n equals number grade or numerical grade. And now we have to decide whether this is a function or not. And so for every number, or actually, I'm sorry, for every letter, 
if I pick, say, a letter grade of an A, is there only one response or is there multiple responses for the number that's associated with an A? Since there's quite a few responses, probably at least 10 that I can think of, um, then we would say no, a single letter grade has many number grades associated. So it's not a function because each input of a letter grade has multiple answers. So in this case, we would not use function notation because the statement is not a function.